act like I promise. The thing I learned about being in the kitchen is don't be scared and intimidated. Why not just get in the kitchen and try something new, right? That's it. Hi guys, so today we'll be making a pineapple upside down cake with brown butter glaze. So we'll be using today one box of the golden um, butter recipe cake by Duncan Hines. We'll be using uh, we'll need three sticks of softened butter, and I'll tell you guys how we'll use that as we go along. We'll be using powdered sugar, and I'll tell you guys when we need that, what we'll, the amount we'll use on that. We'll use pineapple juice and the pineapples, and these are just pineapples and pineapple juice. Um, we'll use maraschino cherries, vanilla extract. You'll need um, brown sugar. You'll use heavy whipping cream. You'll also need regular milk. And I'll tell you guys what to do that when we get to that point. We'll also need eggs. And I have some Pam spray that I'll probably use um, for the cake to uh, make sure it doesn't stick. But um, I believe that's all of the ingredients we'll use. We may come across something that I forgot, but for now, this is the ingredients that you wanna get out so that you can um, be ready to use them. So the first thing that we're gonna do is to our pan, we're going to add one of our sticks of butter. And we're gonna put this in our oven that um, is preheated to 350 degrees. So if you haven't already done that, you wanna go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. We're gonna take our butter and just go ahead and put that in the oven. So one stick of butter in the preheated oven. Okay, now we're gonna take one of our sticks of softened butter and we're gonna just drop that right in our bowl. To this, we're gonna add our three eggs. have three eggs in here guys and then our stick of butter and we're going to go ahead and mix that up a little In this cup, I already have our half cup of pineapple juice and our half cup of heavy whipping cream already divided. So this is a total of one cup. Half cup pineapple juice and half cup of heavy whipping cream. We're gonna go ahead and stir that up, guys. To this, we're gonna add our box of cake mix.
And then we're gonna add our fourth, this is the fourth teaspoon, fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract, guys. Okay guys, we're gonna set this aside and check on our butter that we have in the oven. Okay guys, so our butter is all good and melted. We're gonna add one cup of sugar, brown sugar to our butter here. Okay guys, so we're gonna add one cup of brown sugar to our melted butter. you mix it in really well guys really easy and simple just your brown sugar and your butter so mix it up really well okay and what we're going to do is spread it evenly at the bottom of the pan and we're going to put our pineapples right on top of this okay guys so this is what i'm i've used i use nine pineapples in here and then what I'll because I like a more uniform look you can place the pineapples however you like but I just used nine of them as their position here and I'm going to just go ahead and put the cherry in the middle just it should look like this if you did it like mine and then what I'm going to do is go ahead and take the Pam baking spray and I'm going to spray around the sides where the cake portion would be See how that looks guys, just around the sides. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna stir our cake mix for the last time and we'll get it over in our pan. And you wanna just be kinda gentle when you put it in the pan, you wanna be kinda gentle with it. Just put a little bit at a time. And now you wanna spread it out easy, guys. Spread it out really easy and gentle. Guys can see that, just very easy and gentle. You don't wanna to try to disturb the bottom too much, right? Just easy and simple, easy and gentle. until we have it all flattened out. And then you can tap it a little bit like we usually do. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our cake in the oven on 350 degrees. We'll let it bake about 35 minutes and then we'll come back and check it, guys. Okay, guys, so we're back and we're going to make our brown butter glaze. So what we're gonna start with is browning our unsalted butter so we have one stick of unsalted butter we're going to add to the pan and we're going to brown this on a medium heat so we're just going to let it melt down and then we're going to brown it on a medium heat now you guys also want to check your stove because your stove may be you know be a little harder than mine but I'm gonna do this on a medium heat and we're gonna watch it. We don't wanna burn it, 
but we want to go ahead and get it brown. So it's starting to get to that brown color. So watch it guys, watch it. And I would say after it all melted down, um, the browning process took about, I'm gonna turn this off guys. After it melted down, the browning process took about three to five minutes, depending on your stove. So it's the color I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull mine and I'm gonna pour it right into my bowl. So this is the color on mine, guys. This is the color on mine. It isn't burned, it's just brown like we want it. So to this, we're going to add two cups of powdered sugar. And guys, this is a half a cup, so I'm gonna put four of these in here for two cups. You can sift it if you like, I generally don't. So I'm gonna put one cup and I'm gonna stir it up. See what that looks like so far guys we're going to add our second cup and stir it a little more so this was a total of two cups guys I'm to this you're going to add four tablespoons of milk and you're gonna stir it some more. You can use a mixer or a whisk if you like, but you should be fine if you don't. And you guys see how that's coming along? That brown butter glaze. Easy and simple, brown butter glaze, guys. To this, we're going to add your vanilla. We're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. And this is a half a teaspoon, guys, so we'll be using two of these, which should total one teaspoon of vanilla and this is vanilla extract and we're going to stir some more So this is what we have guys, our brown butter glaze. Okay guys, so this is our cake. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We cooked it about 35 minutes and it wasn't where I wanted it to be. So we went about another 10 minutes. So it total about 45 minutes. What we're gonna do now is put on our brown butter glaze guys. And again, guys, this is our brown butter glaze. We're just gonna sprinkle this right over the top, pour it right over the top, guys. Back and forth.
Okay guys, so this is our finished product. We're gonna go ahead and cut into the cake and let you guys see that, um, what it looks like once we cut it. Thank you all so much for being a part of the family. You guys are awesome, amazing, wonderful. I appreciate you. Until the next video, I love you guys. You know I mean it. Have a good evening. I appreciate you guys sticking with me through the video.